We're going to use black rabbit strip for this. And one thing I want to point out is you want to take it from the, the lower end of the strip because it's going to be fluffier. You actually probably won't use the tip section of this rabbit strip for your leeches because the hair isn't as long. So we have a pro micro tube here. And, and you'll notice I have cut this rabbit strip to, to a taper. You don't have to tie very much of this on. And by making a taper, you make it nice and slim. So I'm going to use a smolt green crystal flash. A couple strands of smolt blue crystal flash on both sides. And now we're going to do what? We're going to do a black. You're going to be astounded at how simple this fly is. This is an extra select marabou quill. I'm tying in by the tip. And I really only want a couple of turns, maybe three. But I don't, I definitely don't want six turns. Because I want this fly to be um, wiggly and sink well and be have just the right amount of oomph. And you know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to reach around and I'm going to spice this up with just a few blue, bright blue. And I said a few, who knows how many there are. There's like four, four or five. Ostrich fibers in the top. Oh, that's so awesome. Now I'm going to do a collar. Uh, navy blue, cross-cut rabbit, Petagine, magic tool clamp, long loop, trim scissors. I'm going to make my loop here. A little bit of dubbing wax. And we have shown using um, this cross-cut rabbit spun in a dubbing loop on some other flies, it really makes a nice way to finish off the front of your tube flies. Getting lucky so far, folks. Everything's going well. I'm holding it up here so you can see this turn from just a bunch of rabbit fur into a really nice hackle brush. If we don't knock the table over and the lamp over and fall out of our chair. I'm going to wind this on. And I'm just pulling some of those fibers back. We go around here. That just helps keep that thread secure. Slick that fur back out of the way. Now, could you use uh, the webby part of a schlap and hackle? Absolutely. Uh, could you use a strung guinea? Absolutely. It'd be awesome. Could you use a spay plume? Yes, you could. It'd be a great collar hackle. I'm just, right now, kind of partial to these guys. Um, so, let's try a pro cone disc. This is a metal disc. Now the weight of this fly is going to be very similar to what it would be if it was just tied on a standard shank fly hook. Trim this, not too short. I'm going to seal it here. And then in a, a little bit after we seal this, I'm going to show you how to rig this. Okay, so we have our, uh, our tube fly rigged and the end melted. I have added a uh, green translucent silicone hook guide. Just slipped it over the back of the micro tube. And I have a loop uh, with a Gamma Gatsu octopus hook that slides right in there. And you can decide whether you want your hook to ride up or down. So I position the hook 
at the rear of that rabbit strip so the rabbit strip can't foul around that. Um, there you have it. There's your tube fly, your tube leech.